When I was pregnant with my first child, my daughter, I worried. I worried every second of every waking hour that I was going to do something harmful, something the pregnancy books warned me about, like touching a young, infected cat. <laughs> or eating soft Mexican cheese. My baby would be ruined, she would come out looking like a hermit crab, and it would be my fault. <laughs> my doctor tried to put me on anti-anxiety drugs, but I refused. I was worried that the meds would hurt the fetus. I was all wrong in the head. This didn't start with pregnancy. It went back as far as I could remember. <laughs> Deep down, though, I felt contaminated. I had learned with a lot of professional help to keep my self-hatred in check. I was living a good life for a contaminated person. But now I had a second life inside me, and I needed her to be better. I needed her to be perfect. So I traveled with Purell. I bathed in it, really. I made my husband remove our kitchen cabinets, lead paint. I cooked my meat until it was charred, and I emptied the garbage wearing two pairs of rubber gloves. I tore my hair out. Would the baby be okay? One good thing about being pregnant, it doesn't last forever. My daughter was born and she was, well, perfect. So now I had concrete evidence that I could do this thing that I wasn't really doing. My husband and I went for it again and I got pregnant with my son. I was even more paranoid the second time around. Then came my 20-week sonogram test where I was informed that the fetus had a severe club foot. That means the Achilles tendon is too short, so the foot can't stretch out and grow normally. It turns in against the ankle like this, club foot, a birth defect, my worst fear. I called my brother Rob for support. I was crying very hard. If you've ever gotten a call like this, <laughs> you know it can be difficult to decode the words between the sobs. But. My brother, Rob, is a pediatrician, so he understood me. He's good with crying women. He has to be. He told me that clubfoot, in the hierarchy of birth defects, is a great one to have. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'd seen all kinds of kids with special needs, and he noticed that when a kid's needs get greater, the parent's love gets greater to meet the needs. You're totally up to this, he said. There was nothing I could do about the clubfoot for the next five months until Ray was born. That morning, we got a surprise visit in the maternity ward from a doctor and his med students. The doctor prodded at Ray's foot, demonstrating its worthlessness. I hated the man. He was practically licking his lips. And what do we have here? <laughs> the day I got out of the hospital, we went to the orthopedic surgeon who put Ray in a toe-to-hip cast. Every week, for 10 weeks, they sawed off the cast and wrapped his tiny leg in a new one. After that, a quick surgical procedure, they sliced his Achilles tendon without anesthesia. <laughs> then, 11-week-old Ray went into a metal brace with orthopedic shoes that turned his feet out sideways. We only took it off for baths. It looked like a purple skateboard with vintage booties. It made us stand out a little. Every time we went out, someone would march over to me, from across a backyard party or in the grocery store and say, what's wrong with your baby? What I heard, what's wrong with you? Or what did you do? We mostly stayed home. And then the protocol changed and Ray only had to sleep in the brace. After five years of that, he was declared cured. He's nine now and he runs and jumps. He loves sports. The only lasting effects are that his right calf and foot are smaller than his left. And there are scars in his ankle, but no one notices this, not even Ray. The other night he came into my room in the middle of the night and said he was scared. I said, what are you scared of? He answered with his usual concern, robbers. <laughs> robbers aren't going to come tonight, I told him. How do you know for sure, he said. Well, sometimes you just have to have faith that bad things aren't going to happen, and that if they do, you'll get through it, and the bad thing will be over. Some bad things don't ever end, he said. 
My son had a point. But Ray, what's the worst thing that ever happened to you? He thought for a second. I guess it was the club foot. I know that was really hard for me, but I don't remember it. <laughs> it was hard, I said, and you were very brave. I looked at him standing there by my bed in the moonlight. It was hard. We were brave. What's wrong with your baby? Nothing. He's perfect. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm, I'm, I still can't say it. I'm doing just fine. <laughs>